Hi everybody, this is Push Your Luck video and this is the second scenario for Robinson Crusoe from uh, my version, my edition is from Portal Games and uh, so in scenario 2, what uh, I am supposed to do is to build the cross item 5 times each on a different island tile uh, basically I'm on a cursed island and a dreadful storm uh, dreadful storm destroyed my ship I land on the cursed island I'm in a bad condition, but I still have to complete the mission, that is to exercise the cursed island of its uh, ghostly or sinister uh, presence. And uh, so this is the setup, um, I am, let me see, where is the, yeah, I'll find the hut soon. And uh, what are the five items I've uh, randomly drawn, I have the furnace, which will be good because it'll help me to negate one uh, storm, a snow cloud. And uh, if you see, uh, ten rounds. Uh, in ten rounds, I must build the five crosses. And the last half of the game, half of this scenario, is all snow clouds. So that furnace will be helpful. I have gotten the moat as well, which will give me plus two palisades. Uh, lantern, which gives me an extra brown uh, token. Cellar. Now I have never gotten cellar yet, and this is quite good because it allows me to store my food at night, and it won't rot. This is very valuable. And drums, which plus two morale. I don't think that will be quite useful because in most of the most of the cases when you play the solo game, you will not need to uh, have too much morale anyway. And uh, yeah, uh, I chosen the explorer and together with Friday and Doc, let's see if I can survive Perth Island and finish the scenario. Oh yeah, one more thing. The the two uh, items that I started off with is hammer and nails, which is quite useful, and biscuits, which give me food. So that should help to solve the food problem. Alright, let's see what uh, end of day one will look like for me. End of day one. So how did I fare? Well, let's take a look. Uh, I us As usual, most of the time uh, in the first day, I will go exploring to see what the surroundings are like. And uh, it's not bad. I managed to find this uh, nice uh, waterfall feature again, which always gives me a natural shelter. I'll definitely move there. Uh, after this and uh, uh, what else let's see uh, I found four of these uh, mysterious tokens and uh, I also found the dark temple so what does the dark temple do if you look at here you see dark temple in any of the following rounds you can take the exploration action to draw four mystery cards and only resolve three treasures and one monster you can take such action only once in a game so uh, that's quite helpful I think and uh, so what did, and, uh, but unfortunately Friday took quite a lot of damage. Uh, he had one question mark and one heartbreak. So one question mark heartbreak and he had, he's now down to half health. Um, for me, uh, because I slept in the open after that, uh, I also got one damage. But that's it. Uh, most of my other rolls have been very successful. So I didn't take that much damage. Uh, my 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 tiles, my discs that I draw, I had to waste. Uh, I had two food, one increase the morale, and one brown disc. I also gotten this, which is the mysterious valve, which allow me to turn the cure invention card to its item side, which means that I have already uh, managed to invent the cure. It's not particularly useful right now, so uh, we'll see what it does later on. So at the end of this round, I have already uh, eight. Eat enough food. There's more than enough food for me, but uh, that's, so so this is kind of a waste, and uh, and my this this is also kind of, kind of a waste right now. Uh, but I have the rest, so that should help me. And uh, I think for the next day, I will probably go exploring or or build start building crosses. Yeah, before the um before the altar of death or the cultist hideouts and appear, which will start adding the the fog tokens to my tiles and I don't get I do not get any resources. Okay, so let's go on to day two. Okay, end of day two. Now this is a quite a harrowing day two. So what happened? Um, I decided not to explore anymore. I did not want to trigger the altar of death or cultist hideouts. Uh, so what happened is I sent Friday, who is quite injured. I uh, did not want him to explore anymore and die on me. So I sent Friday to get some fruit crates, uh, food crates and so he got one food and uh, after that I tried to build the cross myself but as you can see my roll uh, I got two of the the morale tokens and one heartbreak. Oh one more thing, uh, 
I read the rules again. I could move my camp uh, before the the end of uh, last night. Before the end of last night, so I got shelter uh, instead, so I did not get one wound. However, this round was quite devastating as you can see. So first I lost one heart here, and then I decided to go and use the Dark Temple, use the Explorer, the Dark Temple together with my dog. And uh, I got quite a, quite a lot of good things. So I got a compass which allows me to get one uh, green disc that I can put on this card and I can use it uh, as many times as I want, as long as I only use it for exploring. However, I encountered a gorilla and that uh, gave me two more damage and uh, I will need to shuffle this into the event deck later. I found crocs though, which is always good. I, I always love crocs. It al allowed me to build the pot for free. So now I can heal myself and I can now heal myself and also I can also heal um, Friday. So I should start healing uh, next round soon. And uh, I also found a whip which gave me plus one weapon. And also I get to keep the card. So I think next round when a player draws mystery cards and has to resolve a trap, I can ignore one trap. So that makes me feel like Indiana Jones, I guess. And uh, so this is discarded. And uh, what I decided to do, I took the three morale tokens and uh, draw two uh, discovery tokens and choose one. So I chose the treasure and I drew another treasure again, protective amulet. So I can get to keep this card and you can use this card once to remove any token from the board and discard it from use. And uh, what else? Yeah. So uh, because of uh, when I, right at the beginning when I started the event phase, I drew heavy clouds. So I had to put one uh, rain cloud in the weather space. And because I had no roof above my head, the rain cloud, uh, rain cloud, I had to throw away one foot and one wood to keep myself warm. And because of that, I have no more food left and I got two more damage. So, I had two damage here, two damage here, two damage here, and one damage from uh, trying to build the cross, which I failed. So yes, that, that's the case status for me right now. And uh, yeah, it was quite a bad day. I mean, I did find quite a lot of nice treasures and stuff like that, uh, but I should, I lost one piece of wood and uh, yeah, uh, let's see what I can do for day three. Hopefully I can get food and still, still be able to build crosses. Uh, on day 4 then, I probably need to gather some more wood and heal both Friday and uh, myself. Alright, let's go on to day 3. End of day 3 and I think I fed much better. Uh, I encountered a landslide though, so I had to shift my camp. So I shift my camp from this water, uh, this feature to this feature. And uh, so if I, uh, let's see, uh, if I do not secure my camp later on, I'll have no production phase. And uh, what I decided to do, I decided to build a shovel. So I used the, um, the disc that I had. I, I, I used Friday to build a shovel. Uh, uh, but first, the morale phase, I, I, had, I decided to give uh, improve Friday's health by one. And then I sent Friday to go and build a shovel, which he did. Uh, he did lose another heart again, but he managed to build a shovel. I decided to build a shovel because I wanted to build a cellar. I'm, I'm quite sick of getting so much food that I have to end up wasting them. And uh, so what else did I do? I also built the one cross finally. So I built one cross where I was previously using two wood. And I also used this, this so to ensure that I do not need to get any damage. And uh, I also went myself to gather more wood for the next round. So I can uh, build cross again. Uh, unfortunately, I encountered an event. Uh, eyes in the bushes. So right now, it just shuffles into the event that later on. Uh, I will have. I may have a predator coming to visit me. And yeah, so that's the end of day three. Uh, I I shifted my camp back to uh, where I really like this this mountain where there's a free shelter. And so I did not get any damage from sleeping out in the open. I managed to eat one food, so my health is still where it is. Yep, I built a, sho I built a shovel. So next round, day 4, I'll probably try to build the cellar and uh, build another cross and yep, hopefully nothing else will go wrong. Yeah, famous last words. Okay, let's see. And let's see what day 4 brings. Woo, end of day 4 and uh, yep, I hurt pretty bad. Uh, I drew uh, I drew that uh, card again, the 
the unexpected visit, so a predator came after me, so I had to put the red die into the I had to put the red die into the weather uh, section, so I had to roll that and I wrote a break palisade and I did not have any palisade so I got myself one damage as well. And uh, then I drew natural dam breaks and uh, I had to put two fog tokens so I put them onto the areas where uh, I'm not getting anything. And in this round I only get one wood and no food so I got one wood. It's fine because uh, originally I was only get going to be able to get one wood anyway. And I put a question mark on the exploration field. And so what did I decide to do then? Uh, I first I had increased my morale and I gave Friday one more health and I sent myself to secure the camp since I had the shovel already so I discarded this card and got a morale token and so that's fine not much of a problem for me oh yeah because I pushed because of natural dam breaks it pushed the uh, strengthening the roof out and I had to put the rain cloud token in the weather space okay and uh, after that, I decided to send Friday to try to build the cellar, but he rolled really badly. He couldn't do it. Um, he couldn't do it very well. So he had lost two health, but I did get uh, two more morale tokens. And uh, after that, I I went I went to build uh, cr another cross. So I used the hammer and nails to build it successfully. So that's not a problem for me. So I built the cross where my camp is currently. Uh, I also took uh, one biscuit to <coughs> as food. Sorry, as food. But uh, because of the weather die and I had no roof except for natural shelter, I had to throw that food away. And I suffered one health damage because I had no wood to pay for the weather. And because I have no food to eat, I suffer another two damage. <coughs> so right now, I am at uh, this level of health. I'm almost dead. I need to recover uh, soon. And uh, yeah, so that's end of day four. I only had two cross. I need three more crosses and I'm almost going to reach the snow clouds. Oh, this is not looking good for me. <laughs> Alright, let's see what day five happens. End of day five, and uh, I drew a bear card, uh, which puts a uh, puts a black cube on the arranging camp item, and uh, during nearest action, uh, during nearest action, you discard that instead of getting to to during nearest action. <laughs> okay, so I'm not doing that anyway, so I don't think that matters right now. And uh, what I did. I, I gave uh, Friday another health again and I decided to try to build a shortcut and prepare for the uh, upcoming bad weather uh, but unfortunately I could not build a break because I did. I have not discovered that piece of uh, land type yet so what I did was I built knife uh, maybe I can go hunting and uh, kill more creatures and get the fur and build shelter over my head before the snow clouds come and uh, what I did is I also went to discover my shortcut, which I placed here. And I used my protective amulet to remove the fog token there. So that allows me to uh, get a resource in the next round. Okay, and that's my protective amulet gone. Yeah, I also went sent Friday to uh, build protection so that I will not have to turn up uh, two items face up on my invention side, which means I'm losing two inventions. I think right now my inventions are quite valuable, so I don't want to lose them. And uh, I had, did not build any more crosses this round because I only had one wood. So with shelter and uh, with one piece of food, I managed to uh, stay still stay still still stay alive actually. And uh, oh yeah, uh, I used up all my hammer and nails and all my biscuits. So these two are also gone, uh, not much use anymore. And I decided to I will discard three to draw uh, two discovery tokens. And uh, let's see what I'll get. Let's see. Uh, I get wood and I get one plus one palisade. So, yep, I'll do that right now, which would be helpful to me later on. So, one palisade, I'll get one wood too. Oh, I'm so choose one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so choose one. So, I'll not get a palisade. I'll get the plus wood instead. I'll get the wood instead. Okay, yeah, and so that's the end of uh, 
end of uh, day five, I don't think I will survive. I mean, I can build one more cross next round, but I'll still need to survive the weather. So let's see what happens at the end of uh, day six then. End of day six, and uh, I first drew the event card a mist. So I had to put uh, one of this um, this token onto the exploration action field, and uh, then it pushed the protection. Oh, uh, it, oh, it pushed the bear to the next one. So that's not a problem. So what did I decide to do this time? I decided to go hunting with my dog. And uh, I also went exploring. Now, because of the previous, uh, the, this shit that I just got, I put three of them so that I can confirm that I will uh, be able to do exploring. But because I also had this uh, question mark this from previous uh, events, I will definitely have to draw an event card. So, first, um, my hunting. So, what did I hunt? I found a wild pig. Uh, I had two weapons. Uh, before I hunted the pig, so I had to reduce by one. Uh, one, I get one damage as well. Uh, but I got three food and one fur, so that's my hunting. And uh, let me put it here. And so that's what I got. And I went to explore. So, uh, so what did I do? I found an old grave, which made me discarded one of my uh, discovery, uh, uh, my morale chits. I wanted to use a morale chit to get more disc, but um. Well, I can't do it now. I can't do that now. So I need to shuffle this into the event deck. And uh, but when I explored, I found a savanna of sorts, and I added another beast card, and I had three more discovery discs, which were quite helpful. I got another wood, uh, a wood disc, a uh, uh, one where pot will give me two weapons, and also two more food. So now I, I have quite an abundance of food weapons at three now. Uh, I use one food for myself for the night and uh, I use enough food to heal myself using the pot and uh, the weather dice I rolled a snow cloud so I had to kill, uh, use one wood which kind of hampers me from being able to build the cross the next round so I'll definitely need to build a uh, roof the next round so that I can uh, block out all these uh, unwanted weather effects so yeah, so that's the status right now. Uh, I'm a bit more healthier than before, and uh, hopefully I will be able to. Uh, but I used up all my uh, stuff already. But I cleared um, all these chits from the discovery token, and uh, yeah. So hopefully now I will be able to uh, get more wood and uh, build one more cross there. Yep. So let's go on to day seven. End of day 7, and the event I drew was Flood, which pushed it away, uh, pushed the bear away. So I had, to rep I had to discard a morale token and move my morale down 1. So that's not too much of a problem because as a soul player, your morale will always go up by 1. So not, not too much of a problem. Uh, the Flood, uh, I had to turn 1 item face up, so I decided to turn the... No, sorry. Turn 1 item face up or lose 1 weapon or 1 palisade or each player gets 1 heart broken. So I decided to... Lose one weapon, so I'm out at weapon number two. And uh, what did I do? I went to build the roof. I sent Robinson, uh, sent Friday to build the roof, and I went to build the cross as well. So for me, I used two tokens, so the cross was not a problem, and I built it on the town, island town that I just newly discovered. And uh, for Friday, he wrote uh, this uh, one victory and one question mark, so he got one damage. Uh, but he managed to build the roof using the fur that I got previously. Uh, one mistake that I did the last time was that uh, I needed to count the winter clouds against the roof as well after spending one wood to pay for the winter cloud. So I got, uh, I actually, I had enough food just now, so that's not a problem, but I didn't have enough wood. Uh, I, 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 I used up another wood. So for this round, I wrote a, a, a winter cloud again, and this time I have no more wood left. So I could not pay for the wood for this, so I got one damage. But this time I have a roof to protect me from the winter cloud, so that's not a problem. And uh, yeah, so I used one food to feed myself, and I had uh, I I also used my scouting power, and I drew uh, one of this this disc where I had to where I managed to get one more fur, one more fur, and one food. So that's where the food came from. Lucky me. And uh, yeah, so 
uh, two more crosses to go and uh, I have only three more rounds left and uh, I'm still struggling I, I'm, I'm really quite badly injured as you can see Friday only has one life left and uh, I'm afraid of exploring because I'm I don't want I do not want to turn up the altar of death or yeah which is quite bad uh, but at the same time I can't really invent much stuff now I can only invent the rope uh, the rest of the things are blocked from, from me because of the stupid fog and uh, yeah so I guess I had to gather more wood then or else I cannot build any more of the crosses so yeah let's see what happens in day 8 end of day 8 and uh, pretty uneventful uh, I drew the predators in the woods which was quite quite dramatic I mean it adds quite a lot of things to the exploration uh, deck that should tell me not to go exploring again since it's not very fruitful for me uh, it did push out the searching for the old trail which also added a bunch of stuff to the exploration action again so I'm not going to be exploring for the rest of the game uh, what I did do though for this round is I went to uh, create the rope because I wanted to get the secret bell and clear off the fog uh, fork pieces so that I can get more wood and also hopefully build the last two remaining crosses uh, I also went to uh, gather food because I did not have any food for this round uh, unfortunately I rode the snow again, snow cloud again and it removed the remaining wood that I had uh, gotten from my production phase uh, but the roof protected me from the snow so that's not a problem and uh, I ate that food so I am I did not lose any health because of that. Yeah, so I, at the end of this round, I only had uh, one more fur left, and uh, I gave my extra health to Friday. And uh, yeah, so quite an uneventful uh, round eight. I'm not sure if I can finish uh, in time. I'll definitely need to get at least four more wood, not get hit by any snow. And uh, yeah, I have then built the last two crosses in round 10. So, not too sure if I can do it, but let's see. On to round 9. Dun, dun, dun. And before round day 9 could begin, I have died. So what happened? I drew a gorilla, which made me lose 2 weapons, which I did, so now I have no weapons at all. I drew another card, and I drew the old grave again. Memories of a dead castaway. So, uh, what happened was, uh, you, ha you have heard a dreadful story about an old... You have heard a dreadful story about an old grave. So first player discards two morale tokens, and I have no more morale tokens. So I had to, I got on to one health life, uh, left, one life left, and the next card I drew was poisoning. So each player gets one broken heart, and that's it. I've poisoned uh, you, eight poison fruits, stupid me. You all feel bad, perhaps you could use uh, this poison fruits. It doesn't really make sense, but okay, so yeah, that's it. Explorer has died. Uh, I have died in the Cursed Island. I'm only at uh, three, three crosses, so let's see. How much victory points I actually get? I got zero for health. I don't think we count Friday. I, I have uh, no weapons left. I got no palisades. I only got one roof, so that's three VP. I get... Uh, Three crosses, so that's uh, nine, twelve VP minus one for each fork. So I have four fork tokens, so that's uh, twelve minus four. I have a grand total of eight points for scenario two. So yeah, that's the end of uh, um, this uh, series for scenario two. I lost. Uh, I'll definitely want to try it again. I think what I'll do differently is. Um, I will need to explore hard and fast right at the beginning and uh, hopefully build up my roof. Yeah, I think the roof is quite important. And uh, having the brick and the furnace, if I can get the furnace again, that will be very helpful to cancel out the silly snow cloud. Okay, so that's the end of uh, that's the end of this uh, scenario 2. Uh, my name is Eric and uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching Push Your Luck uh, video of uh, Robinson Crusoe. Thanks!